Today, I put an end to the debate once and for all. Exact versus stylized drum covers. You ready? Here we go. It doesn't. Midget and a blowtorch? Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever get back. What is up, you guys? Welcome to Will Drum for Food, the rantings of an overcaffeinated madman. Yes, baseball is back. That great American pastime. I love baseball. Like, I actually, I like baseball more than I like football. Because, you know why? Because I like baseball more than football. Because in baseball, there's no overpaid crybaby athletes kneeling in the national anthem and pissing off half their fans. Nice. Instead, there's overpaid, entitled athletes taking a bunch of performance-enhancing drugs and jacking home runs. Yes. But I like baseball more than I like football. because It's a working man's game. It just is. It's... These guys go out 162 games, they grind it out. Playing 162 games is rough on your body. It really is. Like, that's why I appreciate baseball so much. It's just a game where I just love sitting out in the deck. I'll turn the game on and, and listen to it. And it just I love baseball. I just love it. I played it as a kid. It's the only sport I was really, really into as a kid. I can kind of relate to it. I can't relate to football. I never played football. I, I certainly can't relate to guys playing basketball. I'm, I'm like 5'3 with platform shoes on. I'm really not. I'm taller than that. I'm like 5'4. Five, 5'3 five, three and 3 quarters. So, but I, obviously I can't relate to basketball. Yeah. But baseball is a sport. I can Because I, I kind of played it into to a certain level in high school. I was never that good at it. But I played it and I know I know the skill level it takes. And plus, when, when, when it means winter's coming. You know, man, you guys don't understand. You guys that live in the southern states or just basically live anywhere <laughs> other than... <laughs> Canada or the upper Midwest or the upper western part of the United States or even the upper eastern part of the United States. Anybody that lives south of where we are, you guys, you have no idea what winter's like. You have no idea. You have you don't know. You, 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 have, you, you don't you don't know. It is literally this whole the whole region just dies. You, you shelter inside. Every once in a while you get outside and you maybe take the dog for a walk or or Go build a snow fort or something. If you're lucky, you have a snowmobile, like something you could at least enjoy in winter. Like I used to snowmobile a lot. In this part of the this part of the country, we really don't get a lot of snow. It's just cold and miserable. Like the snow happens in the eastern part, in the upper Great Lakes, oh. upper peninsula of Michigan, they get nailed with snow. The central area of Wisconsin and Indiana and Minnesota, we don't get a lot of snow. Yeah, we get snow. But we don't get these lake effect snowstorms, and you need a lot of snow to ride a snowmobile. I got a five thousand dollar snowmobile, and I never get to ride. You know, it's just the way it is. I'm gonna take a drink of coffee before I discuss this. The dog's barking. She always seems to bark right in the middle of these videos. She just has a. What are you doing? All right. Just dribble coffee all over my arm. You think it's not hot? So this weekend, I see once again the stylized versus exact drum cover debate has reared its ugly head. Well, I wouldn't say ugly. I, it's actually fairly civilized. Here's, here's the thing. Okay, I, I, I'm, I, I'm a guy, I don't, I'll fully admit it, I don't learn the songs exactly like the way they are played on the album. And there's a couple reasons for that. Reason number one, just don't want to. It may, it may sound lazy, but it's true. I have no desire to exactly play these drum parts. When I record a cover, this is what I do. I will go down in my basement. I set up my drums, I set up my cameras, and I dump my audio files or whatever into my DAW, and I'll rattle out like three or four, sometimes five. Boom, 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 boom. Right in a row. I literally don't even practice. 
I don't practice these songs. I don't sit down and go, okay, well, he played a R37. He's clearly playing on the E of the kick drum, and then he's playing a skip type beat with a buzz roll on the st I don't do that. I, so reason number one, I just don't want to do that, okay? I have two, two, two drum worlds in my life. I have work drum world, and I have fun drum world. Over here's fun drum world. Drum covers! Just just having a blast playing drums, enjoying drums. Over here, I have playing Brown Eyed Girl at the corner pub for a hundred bucks a night. That, not a whole lot of fun. I mean, it's fun, but it's not. When I start mixing these two, like it's the whole Costanza bit in Seinfeld, a George cannot stand against, divided against this self cannot stand. That's exactly what I'm going through. Like fun drum world and work drum world, I, those two can't coexist in my land. I, they can, but I don't want them to. I, I want this to be separate. I love making videos. I love talking to this stupid iPhone. I love it. It's so much fun to me. The minute it doesn't become fun, I'm not gonna do it anymore. Flat out, I'm just not gonna do it anymore. So, I see guys who want to play the cover exactly the way it's written great. Go ahead and do it. The thing is, is you'll never see a guy who just kind of plays whatever comes out go up and complain about somebody learning this song exactly. It doesn't happen. Nobody does that. It's the, and, and for somebody to complain about somebody not learning the song exactly the same or making a snide comment on a YouTube video is completely unnecessary. Let that guy enjoy what he's doing. Don't come and try and step on his male organ located in the lower abdominal area and try to give him a hard time about it. It's not necessary. It comes off as elitist. It really does. I, enjoy what you're doing. Great. You play the cover exactly like they do great. great. I like when I did the whole rush thing, when I did the rush cover, when I did the Levia cover, I had to put a freaking disclaimer up at the beginning of the video because I knew the more if that video catches on and if it hits, I'm gonna have the the notorious Neil Peart fanboy coming in and say, Well, you didn't play it exactly like Neil did. Blah 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 blah. I don't care. And actually I just love fighting with those guys. I just do. I love it. 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 I got the comments all ready to go. Really guys, this is a stupid argument to have. It really is. It just is. Why are we having it? Why are we discussing it? And I don't see the guys, I'm going to be honest here, I don't see the guys who just kind of play whatever they feel. They're not the ones complaining. Let us, let, let everybody do this and let everybody enjoy what they're doing. doing. All right. That is it for me. I will see you guys next week.